二百九十六 Chicago Tribune Review. Marcellus and J A L C in warm surroundings in Skokie. 二零一五年七月十一日 Howard Wright Source. Chicago Tribune, July 11. The Jazz at Lincoln Center Orchestra has performed often in the Chicago area since 1992. The year of its first international tour, when it was called the Lincoln Center Jazz Orchestra and presented a compelling All Ellington program in Orchestra Hall, but never has this formidable ensemble played the intimate space it visited on Friday night. The opportunity to hear the band, led by Winton Marsalis. In the close confines of the North Shore Center for the Performing Arts in Skokie, which sits a little over Baba, not surprisingly, drew a capacity audience to the first of two sets. For those accustomed to hearing these musicians in spacious orchestra hall, which sits about 1,000 baht, the Skokie concert offers an interesting alternative. Listen closely, and you could hear the inner workings of an elite ensemble. The evening opened with a welcome tribute to Nat Komen, the fearless jazz innovator who died June sub yet at age basab. Marcellus orchestral arrangement of Ramblin from Komen's landmark Change of the Century album, yet tingo ba looks up brought startling textural transparency to an organization better known for its deep blue instrumental colorings and lusty orchestral climaxes. The gentle sway and breezy ensemble phrasing of this performance captured the spirit of Coleman's composition, while Elliot Mason's full-throated trombone solo, alto saxophonist Sherman Irby sighing blues lines, and Arla Jackson's ringing, ultra vivid percussion sharpened the edges of this reappraisal of Ramblin. Surely there's no large ensemble working today that dispatches swing era tours day force as authoritatively as the Jazz at Lincoln Center Orchestra, and the band underscored the point with a hyper virtuosic reading of Eddie Durham's arrangement of Rogers and Hart's The Blue Room, the cascading horns effects, meticulous revolvings, and ever thickening instrumentation would have been the challenge to pull off even at a less aggressive tempo than Marcellus chose. Add to this shimmering ensemble colors and thoroughly idiomatic solos, including a rhythmically playful statement from Marcellus via Harmon muted trumpet and soaring clarinet lines from Ted Nash, and you had a reading about as close to the spirit of Yetin Gobak Samsa Pes, Kansas City swing as one could hope to encounter at this late date. The myth that Marcellus and the Jazz at Lincoln Center Orchestra dwelled on early period repertoire somehow persists. But this concert and many others are good persuasively to the contrary. Lane Shorter's Armageddon, from his Night Dream album, yet Tingo Bar looks up say yielded radiant ensemble sound and trumpet to Marcus Printup's technical arrangement, with a serene solo from Printup and an extended essay from Walter Sturby. Like Marcellus, would wind play a Nash writes expansive works. And an excerpt of Nash's "The Presidential Suite," Yi Tianling Ye Sub Say, provided one of the evening's more stirring moments. The time for the healing of the wounds has come was inspired by a speech of Nelson Mandela, J. A. L. C. Trombonist Chris Crenshaw reciting some of Mandela's poetic text with rhetorical flourish. The band provided jubilant South African dance rhythms. Conveying a message of hope in the aftermath of tragedy. Elsewhere in the evening, the depreciate of reddest Victor Goins conjured bright splashes of orchestral sound in limbo jazz. Goins take off on the court changes to Tiger Rack. Goins also serves as director of jazz studies at Northwestern University's Binan School of Music. And Vincent Gardner authored a devilishly complex arrangement of Oscar Peterson's March Past. From the Canadian Swit pianist Danny Mavoking Peterson's feathery touch and mercurial figurations, all of this set the stage for next month's release of Life in Cuba, the ensemble's first album on its new Blue Engine Records label, created to bring the band's archival music into general circulation. If the sonic quality of the forthcoming recordings match the artistic level this orchestra has come to represent. There will be important listening ahead.